to you. Hey, what? Yeah, it's my costume. <laughs> Henry, you look stupid. Well, I had to let it out, like a lot. <laughs> Is there any chance you could stuff it back in a little bit? Not that much. Whoever picked that out for you must really hate your guts. Or have seen your hope chest. Well, actually, this is the person in charge of costuming that you're talking to her. Well, it could be intended to make someone look stupid. Besides, it's really all in the way you wear it. <laughs> Excuses for a minute. Bro, what's going on? Though with that costume, maybe we should stick with Freaky Farmer. <laughs> I just got a message from our new foster parent. Oh. Isn't it nice for a new foster parent to send us a message while we're at camp? Not if he's keeping me from hot actresses. Those are just extras. With obvious acting potential. Freak just called to... What do you think? Math X by 45? That's so idiotically stupid! A chicken on counter? Why? You do not do anything! A cat ate the ranch chips! All oh, grieving lunatics make me look dumb! Shouldn't have done that! Think you're the king of the world! I'll make you the king of the lazy pig mud pedal! See if you cannot expect nothing! Good! Have fun at camp! Love you! You... asked for a cat? Yeah. Oh. It finally made sense. Wow. I thought it was a lady. Her voice is so weird. Yeah, I don't really know. I never really got up the nerve to ask, so are you a girl or a dude? Henry, you're on next scene. Who is that? Susie. She, she's the director. But she, but she also plays my mom. Zeke, I, I'm really scared. I, I don't know how to act with a mom. I never do mine. You just act like she's Dolores. You mean the one that was... Dennis' secretary? No, the one that was 5'2", long brown hair, green eyes, drove a stick shift. She used to put whipped cream on my sandwiches. <laughs> yeah, that's because I asked her to. <laughs> Not on mine, though. You think Leslie's mad? Who knows? Just chill. I'm fine. I got confidence. Henry, here, now! Coming, Mom! <laughs> that costume <laughs> is so like. Well, you know what? Yeah, that looks a lot better. Do you want to grab a soda or something? When's my brother on? Your brother? Yeah, that guy I was talking to before, Henry Moscow. Oh, you mean Henry Donaldson? No, that's our foster parent's name. Oh, I guess he might have signed us up under his last name. That's cool. Yeah, not really. Oh, there he is. <laughs> he is totally going to bomb. I can feel it. Why did you hit her? She hit me first. Is that any excuse? No. But she also started it. I don't see why. Well, her mom is a construction worker. And she also heard me saying that she was the mean, stupid type. You didn't. But what? I wasn't lying. I was 
actually trying to defend her. They called her a b oh, Forget it. Your brother is performing in the talent show tonight. I, I have to stay home? Yeah. No, no. Oh, fun. Joy! You aren't taking this seriously. <laughs> You're right. I don't really see what this is all about. I mean... <clears throat> After tonight, you're grounded for two weeks. Dolores. Go to the dishes, and the trash cans are still on the curb. Dolores, I tried. Well, you should have been more. What? Getting me for school every day? I can understand that. What is he doing? But going to all what? the school events, but not Those the aren't his lines. competition? For him, it's eat more steak, play your guitar. But to me, go outside! I don't think you should be raising your voice to me. <laughs> oh yeah? Above all, why'd you put whipped cream on my sandwiches? Anna thought it was shaving cream. Well, well, I'm sorry. S sorry? Well, I guess it's bound to happen to everyone, at least once in a lifetime. You know, I'm no realist, but someday Zeke will be sorry too. <laughs> is he trying to get a Tony? Susie is going to kill him. No. He's finally speaking his mind. <laughs> That's just to the wrong person. That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Will you shut up? You don't have to leave. Really? Awesome. <laughs> Can we please get back to the subject at hand? I'm really disappointed in you. That felt good. You ruined my life. Henry, get back here. Oh no. Perfect day of camp. Nightmares. Susie, relax. I doubt anyone even noticed. He was the one who had all of his lines memorized the first day. The second day, all the days, but the performance? Dolores, I tried? Eat more steak? Shaving cream sandwiches? I really just think that you need to chill out. Nobody cares. Oh yeah? Don't you ever say that again. Message received. And then you turn on the lights when you weren't supposed to. Should I go? No. I need you to find him. There's already plenty of people looking for him. <sighs> Dusty. <clears throat> Susie? They found him. Where? In his cabin. He didn't go to the cast party. Smart kid. On a similar news channel, we were a short one volleyball player, too. We actually only needed one. Oh. I expected one of them to bail out at the last second. What cabin? B5. Mm -hmm. Henry? Hi, Susie. Why aren't you in your cabin? <laughs> well, I was. <laughs> but then all the camp counselors started looking in the window at me. <laughs> Fifteen eyeballs, all the window, and they're just looking at me and... just to be psychologically disturbing. You have to tell me. Why did you do it? Do you think we can have this conversation some other day? I had a really bad day today. What a coincidence. I've had a few better days myself. Oh, really? How was it for life? Terrible. Did you have to ask? Oh, I'm sorry. But what do you think of my acting? Horrible. If I was your mother, I'd disown you. Do you mean Dolores? I hit you, didn't I? Oh, do you need some... Do you like me some ice? Oh, you need like some aspirin? You, you, you just sit down. No, no, stop. It's fine. But why did you ruin my play? I, I'm so sorry, Susie. For a minute there, I went mad because... I thought you were Dolores. Dolores? Who is that? She, she was one of my foster moms. You thought I was your foster parent, so you hit me. You look like her. I do? Why would you hit your foster parent? Well, she always used to yell at me, but not my brother. 
Besides, she hit me first. It was an accident. I messed up. I'm sorry about your play, but the script was good. You have talent. And except for the part where Jimmy admitted to Amanda that she was right, <laughs> would not have happened that way. But he was wrong. Yeah, but she said, you don't care. Lisa was right about you. It was true. Then why did he even try? Jimmy was just going through the motions. He wasn't concentrating on what Amanda wanted or what was good for her. In the end, he realized his mistake and he said he was sorry. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Uh, but not really. I think Jimmy should have been offended, maybe even stomped off in a huff. But then later, when the basketball team is falling apart, he, he sees what Amanda was really trying to say. But it was obvious. Well, uh, to us, as writers, but Jimmy, he's just a character. He doesn't understand everything in this world. You're a writer? Yeah. Um, I've been writing this book. It's set during the Napoleon Wars. Do you think you could like read it and give me some feedback? Sure. I... What's your address? Uh, it should be on the play sign-up sheet. I, I don't know my address. Did you just move? Just moved in. Henry? Uh, yeah? It sounds like you had a difficult home life. <laughs> yeah, kind of. You know, in fact, I was just thinking about going, packing my bags, and just running away. Kurt, from Dolores, but she's long since gone. I don't have to run away from her. She already got rid of me. <laughs> It's like Jimmy in the play. He couldn't see everything, just like you can't. Only God knows what's next, and if you're truly one of his children, he'll look after you. Oh. What are you doing? They're gonna go play tricks on the girls. I'm packing. Why? We are leaving tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow, afternoon. Are you coming? No. Why not? Don't you wanna get back at Susie? What? <laughs> Why? To get back at her? For whatever she must have done to you. I'm not prying for any details. She was nice, understanding. What about lightning bugs inside of a cereal box? Wouldn't that be creepy? A glowing cereal box? Scary enough to have your stomach pumped. I wish we could stay at camp all the time. <laughs> Not basketball season. I'm going nowhere. You know? Maybe you could get a job at this camp or something. Then you wouldn't have to pay. I want to be a writer. <laughs> yeah, and I want to be an NBA starting forward. You, you do? <laughs> yeah, you know, it'd be fun. Zeke, you know, I wouldn't be surprised at all if in a few years we were working at this camp, you know? Blaking leaves, scrubbing floors. Sweeping the basketball court. Yeah, I knew that. If only we could get foster parents where we could get a chance. <laughs> yeah, could happen. Though with our luck. Too bad we couldn't like, pick him out of a catalog. But you know, like they do to us. Come on, it'll be fine. Life has a way of working out. What about? Ketchup on the windows. Life doesn't do anything. People make their own decisions. Henry, you're right. Ketchup isn't bold enough. This is it. All right. Yo! 
Henry, what are you doing? Hate snakes. Henry? Thanks a lot. Will you be quiet? They're going to catch us. What are you doing? You're hiding in Susie's trunk to jump out at her? Isn't that a little extreme? And you're gonna put a snake in her trunk? Yeah, because at camp, everyone's used to snake in the trunk. Everyone expects it. But having someone jump out of their car, someone could get hurt. Okay, okay. When those girls come back, I'll jump up. Say boo, and then call a night. Why is your suitcase in there? You're running away? Yeah. Is there room for two? I, I, you're coming? I, did you bring your suitcase? You packed. Uh, yeah. We're good. Welcome back. For, for most of camp, I wasn't sure, but it is good to be back, Duncan. Uh, hey, uh, aren't you going to tell me about camp? Yeah, I'll tell everyone together. Uh, actually, Mom and Dad aren't here now. What? Well, you know that guy, Mr. Shore from Global Vision Missions? Yeah. Well, he called four days ago and said that Blaine Henneman, the guy that was working in Guyana, well, his appendix ruptured, and he died before he could be treated. Oh no. Yeah, well, Mr. Shore knew that Mom and Dad had helped in Guyana previously, and he said that they'd be the best candidates to take over. So they're gone? They left yesterday. When are they coming back? We really didn't talk about that. Why didn't they wait until I got home? Well, th the mission board was able to get free plane rides to Guatemala, but only if they left yesterday. They didn't even call. Well, they tried, but you must not have had cell phone service. Well, why didn't they... There wasn't any time. They did leave you a video message, though. Uh, hey, uh, I can take your bags. Sure, they're in the car. <laughs> okay, then. So, what do you say we go and grab some uh, ice cream? Why? To celebrate. Celebrate what? Um, having the house to ourselves? I stopped for lunch on the way in and got a mall. I think it's still though. There's nothing in the trunk. There isn't? Susie? Is there anything you should be telling me? Nothing except for mom and dad left. My play was ruined. All the kids wouldn't stop screaming, and my malt spilled. Y yeah, anything more uh, pressing? Oh. oh, fresh air. Hi, my name is Henry. Yo, what's up? What are you guys doing? What? Henry? This isn't the bus? Oh. <laughs> Can't prank ever, right? You should have seen yourselves. Uh, well, my beat around the bush with congratulations. Our parents won't be able to pick us up for a while. <laughs> Let me do this. Susie, you know how you asked if we had a difficult home life? Well, you seem so nice that I wondered if your parents would consider doing foster care. Henry, I don't think. He's kind of an idiot. What with you making him memorize all those lines and being locked in the trunk for 12 hours? There wouldn't be any type of commitment. She is not going to buy that. You see, he's a little... Hey. Hey, oh, where are you going? To call Mr. Myers, the camp director. <laughs> you sure you don't want any ice cream? <laughs> Duncan Alexander Eldwin, get out of the way. Well, you, you see, I... But 
fine. Just... Uh, you know how I said uh, surprise, you know, like, earlier. Well, it is a surprise. I forgot you were coming back today. Oh, big mess. Yeah. What did you do? Um, which part? There's more? Well, uh, I, I was building a volcano, you know, and I just, I didn't want to wait until it was dry before I, I set it off, so, you know, like the fuse and everything just kind of came out all at once. It was... Where did this wall come from? Oh, well, you see, I, I was using a, a bottle rocket to shoot sparks out of the top of the volcano. It looked pretty awesome. A bottle rocket would not be able to take a wall down. Yeah, it, he's right, you know, it wouldn't, at least. It shouldn't, but uh... Uh, did you turn the leak electricity out by the Oh, hey! <clears throat> no, you didn't. Susie, I think we can make a deal. Uh, Zeke, uh, do you know what you're doing? Just don't ruin it. Henry here is a master electrician. Right, Henry? Sure. Master is kind of relative. We'll fix this up. Oh, really? Hmm? It's the least you could do. You know, personally, I wouldn't want to drive us all the way back up to camp right now. You know, maybe you should wait when you feel more up to it. Or... Hello, Mr. Myers. This is Susie Eldon. And... Oh, hi, Miss Sanders. Could you? Oh, thanks. Can I have a banana? Oh, I had very little to eat today. Was it a malt? Hello, Mr. Myers. This is Susie Eldon. I was coming home from camp, and there are for two boys in my trunk. They weren't supposed to be in the trunk. Henry and... Zeke. Zeke. Last name? Moscow. Moscow. That's what he told me. No, this is not a prank call. No, I don't think everyone's refrigerator is running. Hello? Hello? He called me a calling prankster. Wow, you really can't trust anybody these days, can you? Uh, Susie, uh, where's your breaker box? Upstairs. You're gonna call him back, like, right away, you know? Ah. You should wait till he cools down a little bit in a week or seven days. Hello, Miss Sanders, or Mr. Myers? Oh, I see. Well, could you give him a message? This is Susie Eldwin. I was a counselor at camp. There are two boys in my trunk. And I'm trying to know what I should... Zeke and Henry. Moscow. Not sure. Just General Zeke and Henry. Well, I'm trying to figure out if I should bring them... Hello? You could always have your brother try to fix everything. Decorated in here too. Oh well, yeah, I was just storing my band equipment in here. I I know it's a little disorganized, but it's not like it is your room or anything like that. Yeah. Wait, did you do something to my room? No, no. I just no. I just, look. I I really meant to to get this place all cleaned up before you got back, but I, I just had so much stuff I wanted to do while no one was around, and I guess I got a little carried away. And, uh, Relax. I don't think you're a messy slob. Thank you. More of a creative messy slob. Is that a compliment? It's almost not an insult. Well, I'll take it. So, uh, did you get in touch with Mr. Myers? No, not really. Our refrigerator's still working, right? Yeah. Why? No reason. 
Do you think it would be okay if Zeke and Henry stayed with us for a few days? Whoa. Just kind of like an extended no. camp. I don't think so. I mean, what would mom and dad say? Hello, mom and dad are in Paraguay. Guiana, and I don't think we should take advantage of that. I mean, we do have teenagers watching us. We are in charge until mom and dad get home. I just feel like God grabbed them and put them in my trunk. I went to camp to help kids, and I came back with more than I expected. Okay, I... I can't really argue with that, but if mom and dad find out, then I was not involved. It was completely you. Oh, I got so much more on you, bud. Dibs on the bed! No fair! Ah. Oh, failure. See? Well, that's one way to get rid of the bed bugs. Of poor devils. Ugh. Can I have the bed, please? Yeah, sure. Dude, this room totally rocks. That's so high heard. No, seriously? These people must be rich. A room with all these instruments? They're ready to be tripped over. Do you remember when we take my guitar around town, knock on doors, try to make some money? I had to stop that pretty quick. Your last pick broke. Yeah. Not really profitable at all. All the expressions on people's faces, shock, disbelief, confusion, fear, it was totally worth it. Didn't Tony eventually run over your guitar with a truck? No, that was Cindy and she burned it on the grill while we were at school. Oh, those hamburgers were awful. Yeah, I wonder what type of paint was on that guitar. Eh. Well, let's see what this baby can do. Uh, Zeke, don't do that. It will be very, very loud. No! <laughs> we kind of tripped over the instruments. Yeah, we, we, we thought this room was soundproof. You know Dairy Some Sunshine? What? Dairy Some Sunshine, the song you're playing. Do you know any of the other Genko's music? Gankos? Yeah, totally. Gankos all the way. Isn't that guy amazing? He's okay. But, uh, Sandra Kalowski, she <laughs> is among the greats. Just a uh, classical rock infused with a Mediterranean flair, definitely under the influence of Jelly Morton's more experimental work. Aren't you just a little upset that this guy blasted noise while everyone else was trying to sleep. Yeah, dude, that was never part of the Genko's way. You seem like a real student of music. Oh, I am. I play the drums. Really? Henry's been wanting to learn how to play the drums. <laughs> I hate the drums. Well, it's, it's hard, but uh, any good thing takes practice to become an expert. So you uh, know anyone who could teach him? I could give him a few pointers. <laughs> you don't think I can play? Well, by the look of you... I could put on my tux. Nice, but Halloween is still a ways away. Alright. I'll take the bad boy then. If you're any good. Uh, uh, well, hold it guys. Susie is going to kill us. Your eardrums are about to be rocked out! Oh, please. That's so graphic. From the top, then. 